Hi, I'm Andrew Pullen, CEO of Spa World. We get asked all the time, why such a big price difference between spas? As you would have seen if you've been shopping around for a spa or swim spa, you can choose a portable spa anywhere from 2999 right up to more than 30 grand. So why the difference? So we thought we'd film a video about it. We've pulled three out of our lineup the Lifestyle Mandalay, the Vortex Nitro, and the Jacuzzi 345, and we're gonna do a ground up review on each of them. The Mandalay's around the eight grand mark, the Nitro 12 to 13, and the Jacuzzi 16 grand. Why the big price difference? That's what this video is about. What we're gonna focus on today is how the spas are made and the components that are chosen to go into the spas manufacture. Those are two big, big you know, uh, aspects of why the price difference in spas. I'm also asked a lot, is where a spa is made important? After all, some spas are made in China, some in Australia, some in the US, some in Mexico, some in Eastern Europe, some in Western Europe. What I can tell you in my experience, and I've been in the business about 25 years, is that where a spa is made is far less important than how it's made and what components go into the manufacturer of the spa. In my experience, some of the best spas in the world are made in China, some of the worst spas in the world are made in China. Some of the best spas in the world are made in the US. Some of the worst spas in the world are also made in the US. So, if you're looking around at spas and swim spas, focus less on where the spa is made and more on how the spa is made. And as I said, that's what today's about. So let's start out by looking at the Lifestyle Mandalay, eight to nine grand, great spa, and let's see what the difference is between that, the more expensive Vortex Nitro, and the top of the line jacuzzi. Okay, so we're gonna start talking about the Lifestyle Mandalay. So this is a eight, nine thousand dollar spa. Full disclosure, uh, the Mandalay is manufactured by the Vortex Leisure Group that also owns Spa World. So it's one of our own, um, and I know it quite well. The Lifestyle range is manufactured for the Costco retail group, uh, and so they're looking for a product uh, for their members that's uh, good quality, um, but a great price. So very price-focused spa. And because they're so price-focused, um, when it comes to choosing what's going into the manufacturer of the spa, the component quality is not gonna be quite where it is in the, um, the sort of the better and best that we'll look at today. Other spas in this price category that you might see on the market are going to be Alpine Spas, uh, Fisher Spas, Sapphire Spas, and um, Leisureite Spas. So if you're looking around at spas, those brands are going to sit in the same sort of price quality category as the Lifestyle Mandalay that we're looking at here today. So let's start at the bottom and work up as we will with, with each of the spas. So first of all, if you look at what's, um, what's protecting the floor of the spa, what the floor is made of, generally in a spa in this price category, you're gonna get a reasonably lightweight ABS sheet um, to prevent you know, moisture, et cetera, getting into the spa. Certainly not the same uh, robust quality as you're going to get in a higher quality spa. So the, the floor pan or the floor of the spa is gonna be a lighter weight and generally is not gonna carry any insulation. Secondly, the framework of the spa is probably going to be an untreated timber. Now, be careful if you're shopping around spas in this price category. A lot of spa sales, people will tell you the frames are treated. Ask them to take the sides off the spa and have a look for yourself. In the case of the Lifestyle Mandalay, it's a very light timber treatment, certainly not the heavy tantalized treatment that you're going to get in a, uh, a jacuzzi or a top quality spa. So the framework of the spa is generally going to be a lighter weight and you'd have to assume that you know it's not going to last as long as a spa with a, uh, a heavier weight frame. The shell of the spa, generally speaking, you're going to have less colour choice and you'll see a lot of spas in this price category are the sterling silver, which is this white marble. I'm not a massive fan of it myself personally. It's a bit glary in the sunshine, a bit slippy slippy, but um, you know it's, it's not bad. When it comes to the backing of the acrylic, the fiberglass in a, in a value spa, it's going to be a lighter weight of fiberglass. And you can generally tell if you look at the specification sheets of the various spas, you'll see the cheaper the spa is, generally the lighter it is as well. And that's got a lot to do with how much fiberglass is applied to the back of the shell. 
And of course, as you'd expect, it's probably going to carry a, a lower warranty on the uh, shell of the spa. Generally speaking, you know, you might get five years um, in a spa of this price category. Um, so yeah, lighter weight, uh, lighter weight shell as well. The equipment in the spa um, in the Mandalay is actually really good. Uh, we use the spa net equipment, both the pumps and controller in the lifestyle spas. Um, it's, it's top quality equipment, top quality pumps. Other spas in this price category might use lower quality pumps, lower quality control systems. Just a tip to watch out for, the three big manufacturers of control systems are Sparnet, Balboa and Gecko. If you're looking at a spa and it doesn't have one of those three, I'd be a little bit wary about it. Those are the, those are the three dominant controller manufacturers. When it comes to the filtration uh, of the spa, um, the, the, in this case, we've got a uh, off-the-shelf um, CMP filter system. Um, it's a good system. It's, um, it's, it's got twin um, cartridge filters under here. Uh, we'll do a cutaway later on. I'll show you those. Um, so it's not bad. This has got ozone clarification. Always buy a spa with ozone. It's, it's great. Most spas nowadays have got ozone in there. But this doesn't have UV, which the next two spas that we'll look at does have. So ozone's a great clarifier, but if you want a water steriliser, then UV is going to be the best steriliser. What does that mean? You might use a little more chemicals. Um, generally speaking, you'll find that the um, the 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 less you spend up front on the spa, the more you're gonna spend over time in both chemicals and also in running costs. And that's the next thing I wanna cover is that the insulation uh, in the lifestyle spa we're looking at here is gonna be less than what you're gonna see in the next two spas. The less insulation a spa has, the more it's gonna to cost to run in the long run. So, you know, saving a few bucks at the beginning might cost you a lot more um, over the life of the spa. If we look at the jetting system in the spa, the Lifestyle Mandalay, as, as many spas do in this price category, they're off the shelf jets. Um, they're generally a smaller jet than what you'll see in the next two spas we'll look at. So lots of little two inch jets um, that up the jet count. So it looks like it's got more hydrotherapy, um, but they're, they're certainly not as effective as, as the larger jets that you'll see in the next two spas. Um, Likewise, the, you know, the control uh, dials on the spa, they're generally going to be of a, of a slightly lower quality, um, befitting the price, um, you know, headrests, etc. The cover, the cover that goes over the spa is going to be a little bit lighter weight. So as you can see, every component's just a little bit less. And all of this adds up to, yes, a cheaper spa, but a spa that's probably not going to last as long as a better quality spa. And over its life, it's going to end up costing you more. Um, Another couple of sort of blingy features I'd like to um, point out. Um, one is this has a built-in stereo with pop-up speakers. Um, I've got to admit, 25 years in the spa industry, I'm not a massive fan of stereos and spas. Um, I know from our experience with a, with a larger spa retail group in the world, we get more um, uh, warranty call-outs on, on stereos than almost any other component in the spa. Um, they're... They, they sound like a good idea, but my recommendation would be save the money and get a high quality um, outdoor Bluetooth stereo. It's going to be more robust. Uh, you can take it you know, to the beach as well with you. Uh, it's going to last a lot longer. And most importantly, it's probably going to give you better sound. There are exceptions. So I know that um, both Vortex, Jacuzzi, uh, other brands like Hot Spring and Bullfrog, really high quality brands do offer a much higher quality of stereo. But they're pretty pricey. You're paying sort of 1500 to two grand for a decent stereo in a spa, whereas you can get lightweight Bluetooth portable speakers now for, gosh, four or five hundred dollars, and you're probably going to get the same um, quality of, of sound. So, you know, all in all, this is a it's a good spa. It's certainly great value for money, as are those other spa brands that I mentioned. But everything is just a little bit less than than what you're going to get in the next couple of spas that we uh, look at. The, the base is lighter, the framework's lighter, the shell construction's a bit lighter, um, you know, the, the, the fitting's not, not as good a quality, um, the, the jetting, the, so the quality of hydrotherapy that you get isn't going to be as good as the next couple of spas we look at. And, and the big one is less insulation means higher running costs. And, and when I say higher running costs, 
you could be spending on a, you know, a cheap spa over a, over a top quality one, you could be spending two or three times more in terms of running costs than you would in a well insulated good quality spa. So let's move on to the next one, which is the Vortex Nitro now. Okay, so we're now moving on to the better in our good, better, best lineup. And this is the Vortex Nitro, probably the biggest selling single model of spa in Australasia. So once again, full disclosure, Vortex is a brand that's manufactured by Vortex Leisure, the same company that owns Spa World. So I know this product back to front. And, um, and as I say, it is our, our biggest selling spa. So starting with the ground up again, what makes this a better spa than the Lifestyle Mandalay? Uh, and keep in mind, eight grand, 12 grand. So it is a bit of a price jump, but there are a number of reasons for that. So let's start at the bottom. First of all, the floor pan of the spa, the base of the spa is heavier duty. So there's more fiberglass backing. It's got a, a, a more of an upturn so that if you do get ground water uh, building up, heavy rain, et cetera, it's not gonna get through into the inside of the spa because unless it gets more than that deep, it can't get through the base. And um, importantly, the base is now insulated. So not insulated, it's now insulated with a layer of high density foam, okay? Next, and, and this is a favorite of mine in the Vortex range, is injection molded plastic framing with a lifetime warranty. So instead of the lightweight, untreated timber frame, you're now getting into injection molded plastic that will last indefinitely. It can't rot, can't mildew, can't crack, gets around a lot of the disadvantages with the lighter weight timber frames. If we look at the shell, uh, so Vortex uses a four layer shell construction. So heavier uh, amount of fiberglass applied to the back of it. This is quite a bit heavier than the, um, the Lifestyle Mandalay. And importantly, it uses what's called a pure vinyl ester layer. So I'll do a separate video on that, but um, it's, it's just a better quality of fiberglass. And as such, it gives a longer warranty. Incidentally, uh, other brands that sort of are head to head with Vortex are um, the likes of Galaxy, uh, Signature, um, Oasis in Australia, the Oasis Premium line, that is, they do too. So the Oasis Premium line, um, yeah, so those are brands of a, of a sort of a similar um, class. So back to the spa itself. Um, so we talked about the, the shell, um, heavier weight shell, it's gonna last longer. The filtration system on the spa, so within the Vortex, we, do, we, we have a, um, what's called a pure zone system. So instead of just two paper cartridge filters that filter to about 25 microns, 25 one thousandths of an inch or centimeter, um, we also add what's called a pure zone cartridge, which is a very fine cartridge, better um, filtration than on the Lifestyle Mandalay. Uh, this spa also has ozone, all right, but it also has a UV steriliser. So if you remember from when I was talking about the Mandalay, the ozone clarifies the water, the UV sterilizes the water. So you are gonna use slightly less chemicals, uh, keeping the water clean in a Vortex or indeed a Jacuzzi than you would in something like the, um, the Lifestyle at that end of the market. Insulation is once again, it's heavier duty, it's better in a Vortex. So you've got a thicker layer of high density foam on the shell itself. And then you've got a foam and foil insulation that wraps around the inside of the cabinet. And the cabinet itself is a heavier duty as well. So all of that means that you're gonna lock more heat in around the spa. Uh, they do come with a, a high density locking hard cover as well. So a heavier weight cover. All of that extra insulation adds up to lower running costs. So as I said at the uh, outset, you spend a bit more on the spa up front, you're gonna spend less over the lifetime of the spa. Now, when it comes to hydrotherapy, so jacuzzi, um, sorry, Vortex, um, better hydrotherapy, bigger jets. Um, Vortex does use a bearingless jet system, um, which is a really nice feature. It means the jet, the rotating jets don't get um, gridded up and get stuck. Um, they just, they keep spinning. Five year warranty on the jets against, I think a one year warranty on the um, lifestyle jets. So better quality jets, and that's gonna lead to a higher level of hydrotherapy massage. Um, so jets are better. 
Also, the um, the control dials, they're they're a better quality, so they're going to last longer. They're not going to you know have the breakages. This particular vortex is fitted with backlit drink holders, so they light up at night, which is really nice. And actually, if we go back to the jets in a vortex, they're backlit as well, so you'll see a clear plastic. Um, and at night, um, we'll we'll splice in a cutaway shot showing you it lit up at night. They they really look a million dollars. Um, the Vortex Nitro features um, what are called laminar jets. So whereas the Lifestyle, um, it also has some, some water features. The quality of the flow in the Vortex is that much better. Um, there, are, there are laminar flow, which is really nice. The, the Nitro does have a neck therapy collar uh, in the back there. So that's gonna give a wonderful sort of neck and shoulder massage, um, uh, improve the, the quality of the massage over what you're gonna find in the, the lifestyle Mandalay that, you know, once again is built for that lower price point. So, so as you can see, um, right from the ground up, you know, the floor pan of the spa, the, the, um, the framework, the quality of the shell, the quality of the filtration is better, um, the hydrotherapy performance of the spa, so you're gonna get a much better massage, uh, the warranties are better. So, you know, across the board, just, just that much better each step of the way. Um, that's going to mean that you're going to get, you know, much more, um, you know, bang for the buck and, a, and an enjoyable spa experience if you go up to that next level. So, so that's the, the, the better in the good, better, best lineup. And next we're going to go on to Jacuzzi, the brand that invented spas, and see what you're going to get in top of the line. Okay, so we're standing in front of a Jacuzzi J. 335 which we've chosen for the best in our good better best matchup now unlike the other two vortex leisure that owns spa world doesn't manufacture jacuzzis uh, jacuzzi has been going about 65 years they they invented um, spas uh, the jacuzzi brothers uh, so little story um, the Jacuzzi brothers are Italian immigrants into the US. They had an a, a, um, agricultural pumping business. One of their sons got uh, arthritis at a very, very early age. So they adapted one of their agricultural pumps to go in a bathtub and provide hydrotherapy massage. Uh, the son who was thought not to live past five uh, d died recently at 85. So spa pools were born. So Jacuzzi have been doing it for longer than um, anybody else and uh, not surprising that we've chosen Jacuzzi to represent the best in our good, better, best lineup. Uh, the other thing is, full disclosure, I own a Jacuzzi. Um, so best bar I've ever had. I've had many, many spas over the last 25 odd years that I've been in the business. So I love it. I love my Jacuzzi for a number of reasons. So let's start from the bottom up again. So first of all, the floor pan on a Jacuzzi is even deeper than the Vortex. It's a good 120, 150 mil high. It is molded ABS backed by fiberglass. So very, very good uh, floor pan in the Jacuzzi. The framing of the Jacuzzi is a tantalized heavy duty timber frame. Got to be honest, um, my favourite is still injection moulded plastic because what can go wrong? But I'm not going to start telling the uh, inventors of spas how to make their spas, but yeah, definitely a very, very heavy duty and fully tantalised or pressure treated frame, unlike the lighter weight untreated frame on the lifestyle that we looked at first up. Jacuzzi use their own control systems. They're made for them under license by, by, by Balboa, which is one of the top three manufacturers. They're, they're a great controller. They do have different levels of touchpad on each you know, corresponding level of the product. My one, which is a 400 series, has actually got a touch screen. This is more of a push button, but it is a, a great controller. One thing I have to say about Jacuzzi is their Smart Tub app. So it's an app that goes on the spa. To set it up, you simply when you get your spa, open up your camera, shine a little QR code here, automatically sets everything up for you. It's amazing. And unlike a lot of apps and, and most spa brands um, promote that they have apps, unlike everybody else's, which works on Wi-Fi, where the signal strength you know, can be pretty dim once you get out in the backyard, uh, Jacuzzi's works on the, the cellular network, so you're always going to have coverage. Um, so your spa's little SIM card built in, connects to the cellular network, brilliant. 
Uh, not only can you operate the SPA using the Smart Tub app from anywhere in the world, but it also has a great energy readout um, uh, function, which, which I will come to in time. So the shell of the spa on the jacuzzi, they actually use a, a secret proprietary process. When you visit their factory, they won't show you that bit. Um, they claim that they have almost zero failure rate on their spa shells, certainly got a really robust warranty, even slightly better than the Vortex. Um, certainly um, the feel of the shell is a lot more heavy duty and I can assure you they are a very, very heavyweight spa. So not only is the base and the framework heavier duty, um, but the shell itself is a very heavy duty shell construction. Now, the insulation on the jacuzzis, they use a full foam insulation. Uh, incidentally, other brands in the sort of price quality category that you might have looked at are gonna be um, Hot Spring and Bullfrog, both of which also use uh, full foam insulation. I'm gonna do a separate video on insulation um, showing you probably once again the good, better, best. But what I can tell you from my own personal experience is the best insulation is definitely full foam insulation. There are many different ways to insulate a spa, but full foam, um, in my experience, is the most effective. And certainly judging by the running costs of my jacuzzi against previous spas I've had, the running cost on the jacuzzis is certainly by far the cheapest of the three that we've looked at. So once again, coming back to what I'm saying, the more you spend up front, the less you're gonna spend over the long run. When it comes to filtration, actually a very similar system is the Vortex spars. So a combination of pleated cartridge filters, um, pure zone, they call them a depth filter in a jacuzzi, uh, optional on the 300 series, standard on the 400 and 500 series. So it filters down to five microns. And like the Vortex, they have both an ozone clarifier and their clear ray UV system built in. Um, little clear ray button on the touchpad here. You press that when you get out, automatically runs the ozone and UV for about 30 minutes, helps to clean up that water. Similar system on the uh, Vortex. The cover on the Jacuzzi is once again, a very heavyweight cover and uh, they come with what's called a Prolast cover. So the actual material used to make the cover uh, is a higher quality, lasts longer. So better insulation. Um, more longevity. But the very best thing about the jacuzzi and the biggest difference between the two spas we've looked at is the quality of the hydrotherapy. It's what jacuzzi really hangs their head on. Their, um, their jetting system, their hydrotherapy system is second to none. Uh, I would encourage you if you're shopping around for a spa, you've got to try it to figure out you know, just how good it is. Um, very difficult for me to describe without you trying it. So if you're willing to invest the sort of money in, in that top level of spa, whether it be a jacuzzi, a hot spring, bullfrog, etc., make sure you try before you buy the hydrotherapy in the jacuzzi. In my experience, 25 years in the business, is definitely second to none. Once again, some nice water features. This particular 300 series has got a really neat feature, which is a massage pillow headrest. So one of the headrests actually has a couple of hydrotherapy spinning jets in behind it. Gives you a lovely neck massage when you're using the spa. Um, what else can I tell you about jacuzzi? Very uh, nice cabinet system. It's actually a clip off, clip on. There's no screws on it. So definitely a superior cabinet system than the other two spas we've looked at. So, so once again, well, I keep saying it, every little um, facet of the spa is just that much better. And it all adds up to a spa that's going to give you better hydrotherapy performance, it's gonna last longer, and it's gonna be cheaper to run over the lifetime of the spa. So I hope that sort of answered that question for you as why some spas are eight, some are 12, some are 16, uh, or variations of that. It really comes down to how the spa is made and what components are chosen to go into the spa. The better the quality of the components, the better the quality, the method of manufacture, the longer the spa is gonna last, the cheaper it is gonna to be to run, and the better your overall experience with the spa is going to be. So, I hope you enjoy the video. Pop into a Spa World store and one of our spa specialists can uh, run through it again with you. You can hop in, give them all a try, and I'm sure we can help find the perfect spa for you. Thanks very much.